Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Little Bear who loves to read along with you. Little Bear has a question for you. Have you ever met jolly old Saint Nick? Not yet. <laughs> well, here he is. Yes, he's Santa Claus. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what will happen when Saint Nick gets lost and needs help. Who can help him? Can we help you, Saint Nicholas? By Rosemary Lanning. It was Christmas Eve, the busiest day of his year and St. Nicholas had overslept. He was so angry with himself that he rushed out in far too much of a hurry and lost his way. I'm getting old, sighed St. Nicholas. First I oversleep, then I lose my way. How am I going to find the children now? He rubbed his eyes. If only it were not so dark, he thought. Then he called out, Are you there, Moon? Could you light the way for me? St. Nicholas waited impatiently, but the moon didn't appear. It was hiding behind a cloud and wouldn't come out. Can I help you, St. Nicholas? asked an owl perched above him in a tree. I wish you could, said St. Nicholas, but I can't imagine how. I can. Really? said St. Nicholas doubtfully. The owl nodded. I can see in the dark. He fluffed up his feathers importantly. I'll show you the way. Just follow me. To wit, to whoo. The owl spread his wings wide and flew off. St. Nicholas hesitated, but only for a moment, then followed the owl into the night. At last, the moon came out from behind its cloud. St. Nicholas trudged after the owl, trying to keep up with him, but after a while he stopped. The owl looked back. Are you tired? he asked anxiously. No, not tired, said St. Nicholas. I'm hungry. I forgot to eat my toast and honey. Shall I fetch you a mouse to eat? Ugh, St. Nicholas shuddered. I don't eat mice. I do, hooted the owl, glaring at a little mouse who was hopping inquisitively towards them. No, leave her alone, cried St. Nicholas, shooing the owl away. The little mouse had only seen St. Nicholas, not the owl. She sat down on a tree trunk, looked at him, and said, Can I help you, St. Nicholas? St. Nicholas smiled. You? I don't think so. I'm hungry. In an instant, the mouse had disappeared under a hazel bush. She came back with three hazelnuts, which she rolled up to St. Nicholas's feet. There you are, piped the little creature. Thank you, said St. Nicholas. He picked up the three nuts, but now he had another problem. How was he to crack them? Can I help you, St. Nicholas? Asked a squirrel leaping through the pine trees. Yes, said St. Nicholas, you can crack these nuts for me. The squirrel cracked the nuts in no time. St. Nicholas thanked her and ate them hungrily, enjoying every mouthful. Have you had enough to eat? asked the mouse. Indeed I have, said St. Nicholas with a smile. Then it's time we went on, said the owl. May I come with you? asked the squirrel. If you like, said St. Nicholas. I want to come too, squeaked the little mouse. You, said the owl, bobbing and blinking crossly at her. Now, now, 
said St. Nicholas. You can all come if you promise to be nice to each other. The squirrel and the mouse promised, though the little mouse crept closer to St. Nicholas for safety. And what about you, owl? Do you promise? said St. Nicholas, looking solemnly at the owl. St. Nicholas followed him. The squirrel leaped from tree to tree and the little mouse pattered along behind. The mouse wasn't used to running in the cold snow. Normally, she would have been asleep at this time of year. The owl looked uncomfortable, but he couldn't disappoint St. Nicholas. I promise, he said gruffly. Then he spread his wings and flew deeper into the woods. I could carry the mouse in my beak, suggested the owl craftily. Then her little feet wouldn't get so cold. Oh no, squeaked the mouse. That would be much too dangerous. I'd rather go this way. She hopped onto St. Nicholas's cloak and allowed herself to be pulled across the snow, squeaking happily as she bounced along. Suddenly the wind began to whistle through the treetops. St. Nicholas huddled behind a rock, but it didn't give him much shelter. Uh, Choo! went St. Nicholas. Can I help you, St. Nicholas? asked a bear who had crawled out of his cave. I don't think so, said St. Nicholas, shivering violently. Come into my warm cave, said the bear. You'll get sick if you stay outside. I can't, said St. Nicholas. There isn't time. The children are waiting for me. But if you get sick, the children will wait even longer. You're right, and that would be terrible. St. Nicholas climbed into the cave, and the squirrel and the mouse and the owl followed. The bear's cave was warm and cozy, and they all snuggled close to the bear. No one was cold anymore. At last, the wind stopped howling and everything was quiet. Now we can go on, said St. Nicholas with relief. They all went with him, even the bear. St. Nicholas strode ahead. Soon they came to the edge of the forest and saw lights twinkling in the valley below. St. Nicholas was about to say, at last, when he tumbled into the snow. The bear disappeared too, along with the squirrel and the mouse. The owl fell out of his tree in surprise. There was a hole under the snow and they had all fallen in. Only the tip of St. Nicholas's hat, one of the bear's ears, and the owl's wing could be seen. Surely no one could help them now. Luckily, a passing reindeer saw them fall. With his powerful antlers, he dug St. Nicholas, the bear, the squirrel, and the owl out of the snow. But there was no sign of the mouse. Have you eaten the mouse? said St. Nicholas sternly to the owl. How could you think that? said the owl, ruffling his feathers indignantly. I keep my promises. The bear sniffed St. Nicholas's sack. St. Nicholas opened it and everyone looked inside. There sat the mouse nibbling a little ginger cake. Tut tut, said St. Nicholas. You mustn't nibble the things in my sack. They are all for the children. The mouse looked rather ashamed of herself. On we go, said St. Nicholas, closing his sack. A steep slope led down to the village where the children were waiting for their presents. I'm so tired, said St. Nicholas despairingly. I'll never get down there. Climb on my back, said the reindeer. I'll carry you. St. Nicholas climbed onto the reindeer, and as they galloped down to the village, he cried, Goodbye, my friends. I can't thank you enough. 
the animals sat quietly and watched as St. Nicholas disappeared. Goodbye, they yelled back. We'll be here again next year if you need help. Little Bear's wondering, who do you think helped St. Nick the most? Was it Owl who helped him see at night? Was it Mouse who brought nuts to eat? Or Squirrel who helped crack the nuts open? Or did Bear help most by keeping him warm? Well, our little bear thinks it was teamwork and he hopes you come back soon for more adventures with St. Nick. Bye for now. Please subscribe.